Hey everybody. So I kind of wanted to do a weekend roundup, but not that I did anything really over the weekend pertaining to journaling. Um, but I did do some thrifting. Um, so I went to Kansas City this weekend. Went up there on Friday, came back today, Sunday. Um, on the way up there, I stopped at one little antique shop in Arkansas and then a couple of places in, uh, on Friday, let me back up. On Friday, I stopped in one little place in Arkansas and one little place in Joplin, Missouri, on my way to Kansas City, Missouri. <clears throat> and then my plan this morning when I got up in Kansas City was to just drive straight back home, not stop, not do anything, but I did. <laughs> um, and also while I was there on Saturday in Kansas City, I stopped by Scraps KC, which is a creative reuse center, kind of like a Goodwill, but with um, mainly um, a Goodwill with uh, art supplies, craft supplies, and all that. Uh, one second, I forgot something, so hold please, I'll be right back. <laughs> Basically, it was a weekend of thrifting. I went and hung out with my best friend, Jen. We went to, Saturday, we went to Arts in the Park event up there in Kansas City. It was a lot of fun. Um, just be bopping around different booths and all that. So, the only thing I got at that was a, some incense. And um, I got a glass spoon. It's a, a lady who does fused glass. She made um, spoons, and so I got me a glass spoon to go in my sugar bowl with my coffee. So, that was that. But anyways, other than that, the only other thing I spent money on was food and thrifting. So, I wanted to jump right into what I ended up with. Um, first, I got... Um, I don't know if this is needlepoint or what exactly it is. Somebody can probably enlighten me. I don't think it's cross-stitch. This is more fuzzier than cross-stitch usually is. But anyways, this was kind of in a dump bin. But I thought it would be pretty on a journal cover. So, I don't know. I may leave it. It looks like it's on a piece of cardboard. I'm, I'll probably leave it on the cardboard. Um, some lace trim around it. Make it a journal cover. That's pretty cool. A um, little bag of leaves. Again, these were in a dump bin, so I didn't pay very much for any of this. That's the joys of thrifting. But they are formed. Oh, and they're everywhere now. Um, they are just little fabric leaves with printed on them in all sorts of different colors. Browns, all that good stuff. So not that I needed more fall leaves, but these were kind of cool, so they came home with me. What else was in the dump bin? Some tassels. There are tassels are always good for to put on journals as dangles. Or if you want to them on the edges of the pages, you could do that. So there's a white one and a blue one with a bead. A big maroon one. And then Little double gold ones and a ring. Um, so there's that. And this was a bag of scraps, fabric scraps of the such. So I didn't go through it, I just picked it up as a bag of scraps. So we have some trim, quite a bit of it there. Some. I don't know what this material is. It's almost like a burlap, but it's really soft. Um, so there's that. <laughs> this pretty lace. I assume these are like a um, couple of holes in them, but I assume they're like, um, I mean, they're sewn around the edges. So I don't, I feel like they're placemats, but they're awfully fancy to be placemats. But there's a handful of them. One two and then 
this one is, is cut, cut on the edge, so three-ish. Here's some of this trim. I, I guess it's a tapestry of some sort. Piece. This is textured. Looks to be sewn on edges. Let's see what it is. It's, I don't know what it is, but it's, all the edges are sewn. Well, this edge is like hand sewn, but so I don't know if it's like a, maybe a little tablecloth for a little table, maybe. I don't know, but it was in the bag. <clears throat> this looks like it maybe from a fabric sample book. It's got the, like the cardboard feel on the paper feel on one edge of it. So these are bright and colorful and interesting squares. So there's that. So that was in that bag of fabric scraps. Set that aside. And then the next place, I got a bag of thread. This was in, um, these two things were in a booth that were in an 80% off. So I paid like pennies for these things. This again is a bag of thread, unopened, different colors. So I can always use that now that I'm sewing. And then this is like a, I guess it's just a, like a, um, I, it's Scrabble game. I assume it's cloth, so I don't know if it's like a tea towel or it's sewn around each edge. I guess you could lay it out and play Scrabble on it. I don't play Scrabble, so I really don't know. But, um, it would be kind of cool as a journal cover. Again, pennies. Pennies, pennies, pennies. Fabrics. Fabrics is what I ended up with this weekend. And I don't know why, because I don't need them. But some of these things were just different. Different, interesting patterns. So, I picked them up. This, I'll show you, I have kind of something in mind with it. This right here is red, but the gold is shimmery. I don't know if you can tell that on the... So that's a chunk of red, shimmery red. I'm gonna set him aside for a minute. And we have this, this fabric scraps of green, all taped together. And I got this mainly because this piece right here was so pretty. what it's a pattern of but it's pretty and the other little green scraps in here it's a really light green we have some ivy and some green with gold shimmery stripes in it interesting a little olive green swath a little swirly green patch, a little strip of, this reminds me of Minecraft. <laughs> it may be, I don't know, but, and this is some gingham green. There's some more of that green, chiggerty, Minecrafty looking stuff. A light green. This is a lime green with a pattern almost like palm trees. And then some more of the ivy. So we got a bunch of green now. I know, I know I'm supposed to be using what I have, but <clears throat> the exception to that was um, use what I have, yes, but I kinda want to um, 
my, kind of my rule is to not shop at my locals, my local um, thrift stores, and to really just focus on um, really just focus on if I was going to buy anything, it was going to be on a trip or somewhere like that that I'm not, that I don't have access to every day. Um, this book, The Fox, it's an old library book. Uh, I plan to do a Fox journal, and I've been back and forth about thoughts on the cover, and so this just kind of, plus the images are really pretty in it, so. Is he hiking his leg? Yep. He's hiking his leg. Nice. We probably won't use that page. Um, but anyways, the, the art in here was really pretty. Um, plus, it's a pretty cool old vintage cover, so. We got that book. We got some Victorian stationery. And it's all the same, but it's, oh, you can fold it and use it as like the envelope. It is kind of a harder, thicker cardstock, but I thought it was pretty. And I think this was marked a quarter. <laughs> so, okay, I'll take that for a quarter. So, this, <clears throat> of course, vintage book, um, <laughs> I felt like it was so loved and so read. You know, it's got, um, it's, woo, it's in rough shape. Um, it's got images that we can work with to cut out for journal cards, things of that nature. Because, it, like I said, it's in rough shape. It's torn and all that. But, it was super cheap. And, the... <laughs> The cover's in pretty decent shape. I mean, it's worn, except for, I don't know if you can see, but they gouged your eyeballs out. <laughs> so, so there's her eyeballs on the other end. Unfortunately, her eyes got poked out. So, my thought process is that this would be a, a I, I could use the cover, obviously. Um... And then figure out how to make that knot. So, <laughs> again, pennies for for super cheap for this stuff. So, that's why it came home with me. Not that I need more books or, or more ideas to do. Anyway, so this piece of fabric is kind of what I was feeling with this. So, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, this stack of books... Four old books. I couldn't get into them to see because they're all tied up. I did see the front. Bad Little Hannah. How much fun will that be to make a journal out of? <laughs> Bad Little Hannah. What a name. So, we have Bad Little Hannah. August 23rd, 1905 was when Marguerite Hudson wrote in it. No images in it. It is doesn't have a copyright in it. So, anyways, the the edging is the spine is really pretty, and the front with bad little hand on it. Um, so I'll grab that. In that stack was progressive course in spelling. Oh, how fun is that? She got decorative with her name. Let's see what, oh, and this has some writing in it. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. Cows love fodder, sheep love hay, girls love huggins on a cold winter day. Remember me and my best wishes when you are someone, you and someone are washing the dishes. Paul had a pig that had no tail, but my love for you will never fail. Drink your coffee, drink your tea, burn your lips, and think of me. How cute. Cute. 
anyways, a uh, vintage spelling book. I don't see any date in it. Um, and then that copyright 1904 and 1910. So, old book was in the stack. Dorothy's tour. Again, I didn't know that this was in here, but um, a very pretty cover to do a book on Dorothy. Let's see when Dorothy, when her copyright is. Copyright 1912. So again, very old, no images, it doesn't appear. The book's in decent shape. Um, Dorothy's tour, be really pretty to do vintage journal with the blue, accent in the blue. And then the other book that was in there, Stepping Stones to Literature. This was obviously a very old book. In very bad shape. But it was in the stack, so. This will be good for collage, and that's pretty much about it. So anyways, it's in bad shape. The spine is coming apart, and the cover's coming apart and all that, but <clears throat> neat little old book. So, um, then I got some quilted squares. Again, these were in the dump bin. Thought that was pretty. And then I got three bags of fabric scraps. This one, for whatever weird reason, was two dollars. These other two were a dollar a piece. And um, again, I don't <coughs> need fabric, but what drew me to these were this material right here. I'm not, I'm not gonna go through all these because there's so many in here. They're pretty thick. But this material right here, the scraps with the numbers, that'll be cool. To work with the gray, the numbers. So and the letters like newsprint. So that's what drew me. <coughs> excuse me. And the collage map. Um, that's what drew me to this stack. And it appears that there's quite a bit in there. Quite a bit of this gray. We got numbers, we got newsprint. Those will be fun to play with for sure. Fabric um, flips and all that. There's some. So yeah, that's kind of what drew me to this bag was this gray. Um, and looks like there's some batik. Oh, that's so pretty. That right there, this piece right here is worth a dollar to me. <laughs> it's so pretty. So pretty. Um, yeah, so a bunch of other random browns and reds and whites in here. I'll go through that and see what see what all's in there. But but the gray's what drew me to that. And to this one the gray newsprint and the feathers. Kind of peek in here and see. Got another stack of the gray numbers, newsprint, all that fun stuff. And feathers. Feathers are always fun. Anything else that's super interesting in this one? More of the gray. Well, there's some quilted squares in here or pieces. That's pretty. Dark flowers. So yeah, for a dollar, I thought those were a pretty good little bag of goods. Little pieces. And then, again, I thought those were pretty thick. Of This little guy was just two dollars. But, he had quite a variety in him, so... Let me grab him as well. <clears throat> I 
These look to be mostly blues. This looks to be some vintage scraps. Cute little flowers. Yeah, nothing special in this, just some blues, some flowers. But the blues will go with that. You want to do anything with that? So, yeah, I'm good with that. So that was all from the thrift store. Um, I felt like I, I did pretty good. Um, these, these, I say the thrift stores, these were antique malls and there was a lot of goodies in them. Um, it's always interesting to me to go to different places because they have different stuff. Um, you know, that's just how it is. The other place I went to, again, was the Kansas City uh, Scraps KC, which is a creative reuse. Again, it's like a Goodwill with art supplies. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm moving into now is showing you stuff that I got there. 50 cents for a roll of, it's thin craft paper, but nice and crunchy crinkly. Quite a bit of it on a roll for 50 cents. Lots of stuff you can do with that. Some stationery, yellow with polka dots. I'm not gonna take everything out of the bag. Um, these are some envelopes that have like a deckled edge. Some cream envelopes with a gold liner. A little stack of them. <clears throat> um, debit credit balance ledger sheets that are long way. Whole stack of them haven't been opened. A purple and silver and white tassel. I don't know why I'm on a tassel kick. This $2 for an invitation kit. It appears it's maybe been opened, but it felt pretty thick that there was quite a bit in there. It's for a 50 count invitation, and it's the cardstock with a gold trim with the ribbon in it. So it comes with the ribbons, some more cream envelopes. And then the cardstock. Oh, yeah, the cardstock. Well, let's see here. So we have cards, blank foldable cards with the gold trim, and then we have the invitations with the uh, little holes in them that you can you can make cards out of them or whatever. So yeah, good stack of that. More envelopes, cream envelopes. No telling what's in there. Cream paper, maybe? Oh, big envelopes for the invitations. Cool. Not too bad for a couple of bucks. You can always use envelopes. And this cream ribbon is fun. So, yeah, I was cool with that. Still at the creative reuse. We got... Here, how do we want to pull this out? This little package for 75 cents of um, tissue paper. So I'll just open it. I don't do a lot with tissue paper, but I don't have all I have is plain colors, and these are printed. Ooh, and some bright colors. We have some bright colored tissue paper. This has Eddie Bauer. No. Eddie Baver. Eddie, I don't know. It's got some sort of something on it. Printed on it. Real light. So who knows with that. Some cream. Some green. Some black. Some yellow gingham. Some dark red, some red or some orange printed. It's kind of interesting print. You can see that. 
some pink polka dots, some green Christmas tree, some baccaron maybe, crunchy, and then the uh, roses. So, I get some color to my tissue bin, some interesting stuff to my tissue bin for 75 cents. <clears throat> um, what else from the creative reuse? This stack here. It's always interesting because you can't really tell what this is, but it's kind of like a mystery. I know it's paper-ish, so it's probably something I can use. So let's just open it and see what it is. It may just be all cardstock. Who knows? Some green and blue. Animals. Yeah, it looks like just scraps of different papers. Shiny gold. Yep, stacks of different paper. Blue, shiny, shiny gray. Cardstock tan. I don't know what this is. This feels like to me that it's something. <laughs> because it's got like a white, maybe it's like a, I don't know. Does anybody know what exactly this is? Um, it has a smell to it, a weird smell, just an old smell, but, um, and it's got a weird feel to it. It's, it's real silky feeling here. I don't think it's a peel off sticker, but it's got a real matte feel here. Anybody have any thought as to what this is that I got? What we're supposed to do with it? <laughs> um, so yeah, stack of paper is always fun. Random colors. Um, what else from the creative reuse? Little bag of flowers, felted flowers. Or flower shapes, should I say? And they are black, different sizes and shapes, and gray, different sizes and shapes. Just felted little felted flowers. Those will be fun to play with. Um. Almost to the bottom here. <clears throat> Got some black eyelash trim because you can never have too much of that. And I don't currently have any right now, so. Black eyelash trim and then some brown interesting trim. I don't know if you can tell really. Let's put this in front of it. It's got like little squares. Interesting. I got those. I think those were a dollar a piece. Yeah. Dollar a piece. I got a stack of postcards. A um, handful of them are dolls, <laughs> Alcatraz, dolls. Dolls, dolls, and dolls. Um, all the postcards were 10 cents each. And then we got the Space Needle, Seattle, Washington. Don't ask why I picked out those out of all those bucket of all those postcards. That's just what we're speaking to me, so that's what we went with. Okay. Next thing we got was, where are they at? There are two of them. I'm gonna play around with these as closures. They're called frog closures. They were a quarter a piece. So I'm thinking they'll work on a softer journal, a smaller journal, not something too thick. So we'll see, play with those. And then I got a stack of hem tape, seam binding, bias tape, a variety of different colors. 
most of the normal size. Um, but those were all 50 cents each. Usually I see these at flea markets and antique malls for two and three and four dollars. So I thought 50 cents each was a pretty good deal. So I got those. And then the last thing that I grabbed from the Creative Reuse Center was this pack here. Um, it was just a couple of dollars and it was paper, so curiosity kills the cat to see what exactly is in the bag. So, looks like hotel room, deliver contents, Monday through Friday, International Association of Administrative Professionals. I don't really know that that tells us anything. These appear to be on... Yeah, they're sticky. Interesting. So there's that. Anybody know what these things are? I'm happy to entertain a thought as to why you'd need a Monday through deliver contents hotel room this big. These are pretty big. So blue and orange and yellow. A whole bunch of yellow ones. They're all sticky on the back side. So that's kind of cool. And then what is this? Oh, some more of it, and that's blue. So whatever those are, they were a dollar for all those. Any thought as to what they are or what I could do with them? Might be fun to play with. So yeah, that's what I ended up with. Um, Quite a collection of junk, really. Um, but I uh, I don't feel like I spent too much. I did pretty good at the Creative Reuse. It was fun to experience that. I don't have one of those at home. I hear several of my Canadian friends talk about them. And um, we just don't have very many here. And so, um, so I wanted to check that out. But then again, I also wanted to check out flea markets and antique malls because that's what I do. So, um, yeah, I'm back from out of town. It's Sunday night. I'm going to, now that I have this mess all on my desk, I'm going to spend a little time getting organized with this stuff and then um, settle for bed for the evening. And, um, yeah, so Monday I'll be back to work, back to normal, and I will be back to creating. Um, I'm playing around with which journal I want to start on next. I um, am, am thinking I want to tackle a crow journal or a raven journal, but I, I just don't know yet, so I haven't 100% decided, but um, you guys will be probably seeing some Create With Me's as I figure it out. So anyways, um, share your thoughts on what these are, what I'm supposed to do with them, and share your thoughts on what this stack of colored paper with the matte feel on the front and the slick feel on the back. They're not stickers. I don't, I can't see where they peel off. Maybe they're an iron on, maybe. I don't know. That's just junky. But, um, yeah, they're real dry feeling on the front and, but they don't peel. They're crunchy, but they don't peel, I don't think. No, they don't, they don't peel. So, any thought as to what those are and why why we would have them in all the colors? Anyways, um, thanks for joining as I uh, shared with you guys my thrift haul and my little weekend roundup, um, my little weekend getaway to Kansas City, and um, I'm back and back in the swing of things, and we'll go from there. Um, thanks again for joining me, and we'll see you soon.